Antonio, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, my friend? My fine, teacher. Are you ready? That's cool. That's cool. That's great. I like that. So, how yeah, was the weekend? Only yesterday, let me see. I just I was asleep at home. I was sleeping at home. That's nice. You could rest. Yes, I was tired for the work during the during the week. Uh, for study in the in the other thing. So I I say today I I stay at home. It's a resting day. Yes, teacher. That's good, that's great. So glad to hear that you were able to rest. That's actually that's very important. Yes. And, and I mean, after a hard week at work is necessary. Yes, because before I was uh, acostumbrado, como se dice, teacher? I was used to. I was used to, to sleep at age, age zero, every Eight day. day. Yes, every day. That's pretty early. Yes, teacher. Because my my wife works. My little son study, and I work too. So go home, go bed early. Go to bed. Yes, go to bed early. <clears throat> eight, yeah, well, eight, eight thirty. Wow, that's pretty early for me. Yes, but uh, recently I I feel very tired. It's, it's difficult, a little difficult for me. Yeah, yeah, you need to get the, the rhythm. You need to get the rhythm. I mean, it takes time to get used to, to going to sleep later. Yes. That's normal. But... This is life. Yeah, that's life. What can we do? Yeah, I mean, what can we do? Yeah, there's no option. Yes. We have to, and um, that's it. Because yes. the job. Well, Antonio, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Um, I could have so nice. I've seen uh... Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Good evening. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my friend? I'm fine, teacher. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, and how was your day? Is was okay. Okay, nice. And what about the weekend? How was your weekend? Tell me. Very good. Oh, nice. I like to hear that. Very good. You were able to rest. Relax. Oh, great. Great. That's very important. We were talking with Antonio that that's very important. Yes. Because I mean, we don't always have the time to relax, to, to, to rest as we should. Well, and so you didn't go out yesterday. You didn't go out yesterday, Mosalia. Yeah, no, not. Just at home, resting. Yes, yes. 
Mm. And tell me, how many kids do you have? Do you have sons, daughters? Hijos, hijas? How many kids? How many children? Cuantos? Uh, three. Three children. Two. No, oh, three. Two. Three. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. How old are they? How old? Um uh, please, uh, 24. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, menor. Mm. Yes. 60. Okay, 16. Uh, medium. Mm. Yes, Night, the one in the middle. Not 19. 19. 16, 19, and oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, and are they boys or girls? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Boys or girls? Mm. Chicos or chicos? Two, two girls and one boy. Okay. Well, you need a gun, my friend. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you, you got to get a gun. I can consider it an arm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. I mean, I got just one son. So uh, I don't have that worry. But wow, three kids. It's hard. Duro, duro, teacher. Ya saliendo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Tell me about it. Mine is 20. My son is 20 years old. Hi. Just. Yeah. yeah. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> the main thing. Yeah. Kids of that age are expensive, but eh, that's life. Hey, Wilfred. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Gabriel, hello, Gabriel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, Ty. I was tired. tired. Okay. Was Which are and the, tell me. Are, are the worst. Yes. And tell me, how was the weekend? Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Still, but yeah. a good weekend. A, it's a bit, uh, no, uh, uh, but the weekend from a lot of work. Eh, oh, sí, estoy, estoy siendo como un medio corredor en la casa. Entonces, oh, really. Uh, Wow, that's nice. Yes. That's great, that's great. Yeah, but you were busy. <laughs> you were very busy. Well, look at us here, starting another week. Thank you for being here, Gabriel. Welcome to the class. Thank you, sir. Hi, Xiomara, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good. How are you? Very good. Okay, how was the weekend for you? Uh, my weekend was a little bit uh, hard because I worked on Saturday. And after I rest, but yesterday, I watched my clothes. Uh, I went to the oh, supermarket. You can say you can say it like this. Look, you know, instead of saying I wash my clothes, you can say you can say it like this. I did the laundry. Ah, I did the laundry. 
I went to church. I went to church, yes. You were very busy. Yes, teacher. Ah. It's nice to have you here. Welcome, Chimara. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Yvette, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm fine. Fine. Okay. How was the weekend for you? Oh, um, working at home. Uh huh. Um, cleaning and washing closet. Okay. Just doing yeah. housework. Um. Repeat, please. Just doing housework. Yes. Okay, so you didn't go out. You didn't go out. No salió. No. 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 Sleeping. Oh. Well, that's nice. You were resting. That's great. Yes. That's excellent, excellent. <laughs> and today, back to work. Uh, and today, and today. Oh, oh, working, working oh. In, in office. In the office, okay. What time yes. did you finish working today? Oh, um, 5, 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. and you got home? Oh, I repeat. What time did you get home? Um, in 8 a.m. No, what time did you get home? A que hora se llegó a casa, home? Oh, oh. Uh, today, um, let's and by 13 p.m. Oh, 30 minutes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Not that much. Not much. Well, Yvette, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Mailing. Hello, Mailing. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm just fine. Just fine. How was the weekend for you? I'm sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, only, only when I uh, with my sister. Okay. So, nothing special. No, no. This weekend is. Uh, it was relaxing. It, it was relaxing. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, we need that once in a while. Besides, I don't know you, but to me, it happens that if the weekend I go out on Saturday, I go out on Sunday, man, Sunday at night, I'm like, uh, Tired. Yes, I only went out Monday and Thursday and weekend sometimes. Yeah. Well, but you are young. When you are young, that's not a problem. How old are you, Mayli? Um, 26 years old. Oh my gosh, when I was 26, every day was a party. <laughs> no, did you? No, when I was, when I was your age. Oh. Uh. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, back in the days. Mainly, welcome to the club. Oh yeah, Thank but you are you are a good you are a good worker. That's the difference. Yes. Welcome to the class, Mili. Nice having you here. Thank you. Hey, Magdalena. Hey, Mister. Good evening. Good evening. I'm not going to ask you how was your weekend. I know that you was busy. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's uh, uh, um, hmm. but it's good. It's good when you do something you like and when you help other people enjoy that time. It's it's a different feeling, right? Yeah, of course. And this weekend, we, uh, I, I, I forgot the word to say, el lanzamiento. Um, when you start one program, el lanzamiento. Yeah, that's the, 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 the oh, hmm. it's not the troll, it's the beginning, the launching, the launching. Launching, yes, the launching. Um, on Saturday, we'll launch. Um, we we'll launch. Launched. We launched. Uh -huh. We launched the 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 program with people young. Okay. With youth. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing, exciting. I don't know. I don't have word to explain that. It's it's amazing. Only amazing. I don't know what more I can say about that. Okay. If yeah. You. If you if you if you had seen no if you had seen uh, their faces that was uh, incredible that was incredible when when I when I was explaining uh, explaining them um, the whole program they only say wow it was wow. great. <laughs> <laughs> yes that's cool yeah there's a word that i'm looking for hmm. yeah but uh, what i mean is it's a good feeling right it's a good feeling yes of course of oh, sure and and then i i had time to practice yesterday at night and today, today in the morning, I had to time to practice. I had time to practice. And, okay. But I, with the, the people who, who is from China, the Chinese, wow, the mm. accent is terrible. Oh, yeah, <laughs> their accent is, is different. Quite different. Yeah, it's, it's so difficult to understand them. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let me see. Uh, I have talked with uh, no people from India. Some areas from India are more difficult. Oh, also, really? people, yeah. Aussies are also kind of hard for us. Aussies, uh, people from Australia. Ah, the. You, I know that English have maybe four accent, four different accents, is right? Perhaps more. Let's see, New Guinea. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, more because I mean, uh, even in England, even in England, look, I mean, there's the, the the people from Birmingham, the people from London, and I mean, Cockney, mm -hmm. Cockney accent. Wow, that's whole different story. When you listen yes. to people speaking in Catholic, man, it's weird. And uh, I told you one, one of my teachers was Scottish. One of my teachers was Scottish, yes. Yeah. That's completely different. <laughs> another, my, yeah. another of my teachers at the same time was uh, Canadian. The variation oh. is minimum, but it's there. Really? Yeah, and I was also working with uh, for five years. I was working from 
with uh, with some American guys, trabaja cinco años con americanos, but uh, people from Boston, Massachusetts, and also from, oh, I remember having a, a, a couple that I was working every single day. They were right next to me. They were from Kentucky. That accent is Kentucky. Ooh, Yeah. Kentucky is, is the Cowboys, right? Where is the Cowboys? In a way, yeah, yeah. But you know, um, the problem was this. They were a couple, but the lady, she was from Kentucky, but she was from the mountain. So even her husband couldn't understand her sometimes. <laughs> when she was talking, when she was talking on the phone with her relatives, he used to tell me, I don't understand what she's saying. Because really? it was a, yeah, it's a very thick accent. So yeah, when you get to listen to different people, but it's interesting because you know, if you know the language, if you know the English, after a while, you start getting it. I mean, it's just a matter yeah. of practice. Yeah, maybe sometimes, um, um, the most of the time, the most of the time, uh, we understood for context. I have I have a, a friend from uh, from where is that? I don't remember the city, but he speak so different. Her accent accent is different to the people from texas who i am used to relations mm, texas wow mm -hmm. they speak weird yeah the most the most of the the most of people who comes from who comes to the to my church uh, comes from texas and austin Oh, from Austin, Texas. Yeah, oh my from Austin, gosh. Texas. The most of them. They sing when they speak. <laughs> yeah. They do. It's, it's so it's, funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Actually, that's what I was going to tell you. It's funny. Well, for us, it's weird because we don't speak like that, but it's a very interesting accent, Texas. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Hey, Magdalena, yes. always interested talking to you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, it's let true. me get the attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, well. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. I got you, I got you, Ingrid. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Presence. Ivania Chamile Dominguez Hernández. Presence. Yvette Lizeth Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. I'm present. Mailing Shannon, Marzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros. Present, teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Thank you, Oscar. 
Okay, guys, let's see. Now we're gonna go working groups. I I need you to I need you to explain to your classmate what did you do during the weekend. Okay, the activities are going to be the following ones. I'll send you to work in conversation. You're going to do a little warm up, telling your classmates how was your weekend. Okay, then uh, we are going to come back. We are going to do some reading and understanding, a little bit of grammar, some grammar exercises, and then again conversation. Okay. So we start the class with conversation, we end the class with conversation. So right now, the question is, how was your weekend? As simple as that, okay? Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in. Three minutes. Yes, how was your weekend? It's covered the question. Yep, it's perfect. The question. Okay. We need to take a dinner. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I did the laundry. After that, I went to the supermarket. And finally, went to church. Um, I am on my weekend. I was, uh, I went visit my friend. I cook bakery, uh, no, barbecue. And I um, watch the TV. Okay. And you, Carlos Heribaldo? My weekend and Saturday and in my work and Sunday and um, and dry um the shopping the shopping and. Uh, because um, um new birthday party um, in I in I uh, relax. Okay. Carlos Eduardo. Sí. Okay, es la tarde del sábado. 
I rest. I rest. I rest. I rest. Thank you, teacher. Eh, descansé el sábado. Uh, Monday, Sunday, excuse me, Sunday. Uh, eh, it was. We, eh, when, vea, when, vea. I went a uh, shirt. A shirt. And the after, and the after, afternoon, tarde, verdad, teacher? Yep. In the afternoon, um, I teach a class in the ministry, discipulation, how do you say? Discipulado, teacher? I told you the other day, I told you the other day, don't you remember? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> Disciple, Paul. Disciple. I told you the other day the this the pronunciation is discipleship. Discipleship. Thank you. Discipleship. I don't remember. Okay, I will write it for you so you can copy it down and keep it there. Discipleship. There, you see? Okay. ¿Qué significa esa palabra, how, teacher? How, how, do you, how, do you, ah. how do you read disciple? Break? Uh, no problem. Discipleship. Discipleship. Uh, Okay, Maylene, we are just waiting for your classmates to come back in a few seconds. I see you very motivated, Maylene. Okay, ah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, guys. Well, that was the warm up. Right now we go to the the activity. We are just waiting for your classmates to come here because I'm going to give you a series of questions that you are going to ask your classmates. But, okay, let's see, everybody's here. Yeah. Okay, guys, the situation is this. 
you're going to make a small interview to your classmates. Van a hacer una pequeña entrevista a sus compañeros. I'll give you, let's say, one, two, three, four, five questions. The questions are those ones. You see in the chat? What did you like to do when you were a child? What did you look like? Where were you born? When were you born? How old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Okay, and I need you to take notes because I'm going to ask you about your classmate answers, okay? Necesito que tomen notas porque les voy a preguntar de sus compañeros. I'm not going to ask you about your information. I'm going to ask you about your classmate, okay? And you're going to tell me in English, of course. So the questions are, what did you like to do when you were a child? What did you look like? Where were you born? When were you born? How old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Let's make an example. Let's see, Magdaleno, ask me, please, the questions. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay. Hey, teacher, what did you like to do when you were a child? Oh, when I was a child, well, it's funny. I like to read and listen to music. Do you like read? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I learned to read when I was four. Okay. <laughs> I really love running. Okay, next, next question. Okay, what did what what did you like? No, 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 no. What did you look like? Oh, until I was five years old, I was very fat. And then I became very thin. <laughs> okay. Uh, where were you born? Oh, I was born in San Salvador, downtown San Salvador, by the way. Okay, when were you born? Ooh, like the wolf. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, like that. <laughs> in my 19, in December, let's say I was born on December 1979. December 19th, okay. How old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Oh, around seven. I learned how to ride a bicycle when I was around seven. Thank you, Magdalene. Okay, guys, if you You're see, welcome. that's that's the interaction you are going to do. Ask and answer, but you need to take notes because I'm going to ask you about your classmate, okay? So I'm going to send you back to the groups. You will have five minutes for this activity. Questions? No? Okay. Let's jump in. Hello, Ivette. Hello, Karen. Okay. Uh, you fix? Oh, I. Okay. Okay. What did you like to do when you were a child? I liked when you were. Sure. Sí, ¿verdad? La tercera es este. Where were you born? Que casi no entiendo. W. ¿A dónde? H. ¿A dónde naciste? Ajá, ajá, ajá. Sí, 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 sí. Ok, la cuatro, ¿cuál es? Thank you. 
second question, um, what do you look like? What is the context? <laughs> ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo era usted cuando estaba chiquita? ¿Cómo lucía? Ok. I am very curious to listen to you, Maylin. <laughs> Oops, Carlos, I'm going to send you to a group right now, okay? Hello, teacher. Thank you. I, I like to do play play soccer eh, no play oh. the basketball teacher espérame teacher cómo se dice jugar fútbol play, play soccer. soccer yeah ah vaya Iván play soccer play soccer ajá ah. uh -huh. play soccer uh -huh. okay I'm sorry Oscar okay I like the play basketball what else? Um, uh, I like to do the first question. Okay. Question number two. Uh, what did you look? What did you look? I uh, the um, I was very thin 
Um, very thin. Era delgado. Okay. Question. A right bicycle. Bicycle. Xiomara. I, I learned three months ago. Three months or three years? No, three meses atrás. Ah, no okay. Podía. Okay, um, uh, I am in when I was when I was eight years eight years old and years old. Y Carlos, no le entendía ese cómo fue. ¿A qué edad aprendió usted a manejar bicicleta? Leve. Okay. Eleven years. Yes, eleven years. Okay. ¿Cuál otra falta? No, ya no, esa es la última. But what do you like to do when you were outside? What do you look like? Where were you born? When were you born? How old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? Bicycle. 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 Terminamos, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sería. Okay. Okay. Anotaron todo, sí. Sí, yo apunté. Sí, yo también aquí Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because in 60 seconds we go back. Okay, okay. Good. Hello. Hello, hello. We are just waiting. Excuse me? We are just waiting. Solo esperamos por el resto. Okay, teacher.
Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, tell me about Carlos Salivaldo. Tell me his information, please. Good night, mommy. Okay. Carlos Salivaldo, nice. Uh, what, do you, what do you like to do when... No, do just tell me the answers. Just tell me the answer. So oh, okay. Uh, he did like play soccer and trumpet. Okay. I don't know who says trumpet. <laughs> Um, Carlos, he was stronger. The three questions, uh, he was stronger. Um, Carlos, uh, he, he was in Oloquinta. Okay. Uh, um, he was born October uh, 26. And he, he was 11 years old. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Carla, tell me about Ivan. Carla Lisette. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Okay, please. Okay, Ivan, and what did you like to do when you were a child? Um, he lived to read and play soccer. What did you look look like? Okay. He was him and did not wear glasses. Wear glasses, no ocupaba lentes. Okay. Uh, where, where were you born? Um, he, he was born San Salvador. Okay. Uh, when were you born? Uh, April 1979, 28th, uh, April. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Ivania, tell me about um, Luis Antonio. Ivania? Okay, let's see. Hello, teacher. Oh, there you are. Okay, tell me about one of your classmates. Um, only or main? About one of your classmates, the one of sus compañeros from the group. Okay. Um, I did like play softball. Okay. And I did look like the short strike black eight. I always love it, but but I was happy. And I was born in Santa Tecla. And I was born of. Fifteen July of one thousand nine hundred ninety-six. Okay. And now. I was five years. Okay, okay. Ivania, you are talking to me about. Usted me está contando de. Me. Okay. She. She was born. Okay. okay. Now something else. Whenever you say the date, like uh, in my case, look in the chat. I was born in 1979, but we don't say the numbers when it's date, when it's the year. We don't say it like that. We say like divided. Look. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Magdaleno, tell me about Gabriel, please. Okay. Um, Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel. Um, to Gabriel, uh, liked. Um, like to go to bat in a pool on a spring. No sé si es correcto eso, pool on a spring. En una posa, en una, en un nacimiento. No, you're talking about the water. It was a well in a water. Oh. I know that expression, it's just that I don't use it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Um, I remember one day walking with some, some friends in the mountain. They said spring. Yeah, spring. Yeah, spring. spring. Yeah, like, in, mm -hmm. like the season. Yes. No, no, no. Aha, no. uh -huh, like the seasons. Yeah. But spring. they called the, the this thing. Yeah. Un nacimiento, un vertiente. Yeah. Vertiente, exactly. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And to Gabriel um, liked that. Okay. Uh, Gabriel, uh, when he when he was a child, he looked like um, skinny. <laughs> Tell him. He was skinny. He looked like skinny. And he born on, seven, uh, on July 7, uh, 1978. And we don't have time to answer the, the other question. Okay, perfect, thank you. Veronica, tell me about Wilfredo, please. Okay. Mm. Wilfredo like to play, how do you say canicas? Marbles. Like to play marbles. He was very quiet chill. And he was born in Soyapango, San Salvador. Was born, he was born on July 23, 1973. And he was eight years old when learned to ride a bike. Okay. Veronica like to watch Mon and Pumba. Okay. Was it, uh, she was very quiet. Perfect. She was born in Chalatenango. Perfect. Uh, 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 no, no puede andar en bicicleta este. Oh, she can not ride a bicycle. Ah, no ride a bicycle. Eh, ride, ride, ride. Ride, ride, on bicycle. Eh, she was born on my 24 oops. One mirror, night, night, five. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Very good activity. Thank you. I know uh, all of you wanted to participate, but you know, 
the factor right here is time. Oh my gosh. Let me get the second attendant, please. Carlos Eduardo Ortiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Presentita. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Trovich Guzmán Aquino. Thank I'm you. Here. Thank you. Ivan Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodos Rosales. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosalina. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Now we are gonna go work on the on the manual, okay? And in the Insta for manual. We are working in page number 37. What do we have here? Okay, we got tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Step number one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plans, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set goals, <coughs> I'm sorry, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they will need when you are prevent, when your preventive maintenance plans goes into full effort. Step number three, inventory, the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you are considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tag in the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Okay, questions about the vocabulary. Um, could you help me with with uh, this word input from each? Is same. No necesitas a todos al mismo tiempo. Okay, input. 
Mm -hmm. Which step? Step one, two, or three? In the number one, the second paragraph. paragraph. Okay, the you may not paragraph. need input from each of yes. these people. Usted podría no necesitar uh, una retroalimentación o un apoyo. Apoyo. Yeah. Okay. Um, feedback. Feedback. Retroalimentación. Exactly. Feedback, right? Yeah. Okay. Task forces. Equipo de trabajo. The task. Okay. Equipo de trabajo. Okay, the next is achieve. 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 Okay. Set goals you hope to achieve. Alcanzar. Alcanzar. Póngase metas que usted espera alcanzar. Begin training your first computer skill. Okay. 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 Tagging. 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 In craftsman is. Uh, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Usually, craftsman means artesano, but in this context, as you see, technological is people who knows uh, how to. Okay. Uh, the people who works in hardware, okay? The technician usually works in software, right? Like mailing, if I'm not mistaken, you work it with software. But it's not quite common for you to be like uh, setting uh, all apart the pieces of a computer because that's hardware. So the people who work in hardware could be craftsmen in this situation. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Okay, guys, now, now, now. Okay, look. Having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. It is important to include people who understand some management. Setting goals is an option for the PMP. For better results, create a list of the assets is important. According to the article, to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory. Okay, guys, what are you going to do? Working in the small groups you got, you will have three minutes to tell me if this is true or false. I'm gonna send you to the groups and I'm gonna send you the screenshots so you can work it easier. Remember, four minutes, four minutes I'm going to give you. We got time.
Okay, let's see, let's see. We're gonna see the results. We're just gonna wait for the rest of the class. Okay, guys, let's see the results of your activity. Okay, having the appropriate people on board, it is not relevant. Okay, that's true or false, Ingrid? Um... Wait, just a second, teacher. Um, false, teacher. It is false. You're right. False. Thank you. You're welcome. It is, it is important to include people who understand some maintenance. Antonio, tell me, true or false? For us, is true, teacher. Okay, for us. Excellent. Carlos Chavez, setting goals is an option for the PMP? Uh, I think it's oh. true, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. It is true. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez, for better results, creating a list of the assets is important? Okay, let's see. Ivan, help me out. Ivan, number four. Ivan Guzman. Excuse me, teacher. Meeting, meeting microphones. Yes, it's true. It's the most okay. important. Excellent. Thank you. It's the most important. According to the article, to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory mailing. What do you think? It's true, teacher. Okay. No. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> In the finish, the bar say assistant. Okay. It's much easier. It's much easier. It's mucho más fácil. Oh. But mandatory means obligatorio. And when it says it's much easier, it means that it is not mandatory, but it makes your job easier if you have it. So solo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Well, guys, let's see. Oops, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. I did something that I shouldn't have. We go back to the manual. We are working in the manual. Okay, travel sharing. We've got idioms. Now we've got white out, very tired. Oh man, I am so white out. I have a hard day at work. To have a lot on one's plate. To have a lot to do. To settle down, to calm down. Hang in there, be patient. To keep one's head above water, to survive. To scale back one's hours, to reduce the number of hours one works. Stretch out under severe strain, very anxious. Keep one's mind, be forgotten. Oh, this is like, oh man, did you do the homework? Oh my gosh, it slipped my mind. Same as we go. You know, I'm so stressed out, a lot of work. But I'm sorry, what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to choose not three. We are going to choose four of these idioms, okay? Working in groups, you're going to choose four, non escoger cuatro, of these idioms. And you are going to create me two sentences per 
idiom. Okay? You're going to be working in groups. Van a trabajar en groups. And you're going to create two sentences per idiom. You are going to use four idioms. So that means that I want at the end eight sentences. Those sentences, you are going to write it or type them or make it in a piece of paper and share in the WhatsApp group. You will have 10 minutes for this activity, okay? 10 minutes. It's long. You need to coordinate, divide the, the, the job between the members of the group, okay? The groups are going to be, let's see. Three and four members per group. Okay, so any question about the activity? Do you understand? Sure, sure. I, have a, I have a question. Uh, yeah. I created uh, eight sentence. You, the first step is pick four verbs. Escoja cuatro verbs. Okay. Of the, I'm sorry, four idioms, cuatro idioms. Okay. The ones from the box. Two sentences per idiom. Dos oraciones por cada uno de los idioms. Okay? okay. So, so I want eight, eight, sentences. eight sentences per group. Ah, okay. No individually. It's per group. Okay? Okay, okay. I got it. Thank you. Perfect. Ten minutes start right now. What you can do is, uh, what you can do is uh, uh, choose one idiom, each one of you. Escojan un idiom cada una y me hace dos oraciones. And then you share it with your classmates in the group. Y luego se los comparte los compañeros. You can use the, the, the Zoom chat, el chat de Zoom. Okay. Like, uh, perhaps... Imagine that mailing says, okay, I will write two sentences using wiped out. Then Shimara says, okay, I will make two sentences using to settle down. Okay? And then you share them. That way it's easier. Remember, I want in the end eight sentences. Carlos Chavez, you're just connecting, right? Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Ok, les acabo de mandar, en, se lo voy a explicar en español para que vayamos rápido. Les acabo de mandar en el WhatsApp eh, una imagen. Ahí aparecen ocho idioms. Como grupo escogen cuatro. Y me van a hacer dos oraciones por cada uno que escogieron, ¿ok? Ok. Así que yo necesito okay. grupalmente ocho oraciones. Ok, ok. Entonces elijamos uno cada uno. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello. We are the, the idioms. Ok. Aquí, acuérdense, yo necesito ocho oraciones por grupo. Quiere decir que aquí hay cuatro miembros, escojan un idioma cada uno y, y me hacen dos oraciones. That's easier. We are doing that, teacher. Ok. Remember, you can use the chat from Zoom so you can share with, with your classmates here. Okay? And in the end, you're going to 
Send me a picture of the eight sentences. Y al final me mandan una imagen de las ocho oraciones. Ok, please. Ok, okay teacher. I just a question, teacher. Yeah. Eh, tenemos que utilizar la primera o la segunda oración, por ejemplo, eh, wipe Uso. out or very tired. Ahí hay ocho, en el cuadro hay ocho. No, de cada, de cada palabra. De cada oh, palabra. el idiom. El idiom es el que yo quiero que usen. Wiped out. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. Ok, ok, classmate. And so in the last one, we are out, uh, hugging there, and this one mine. Bueno, ya está ahí. Como. Hola, teacher. Como así como. Eh, Nos podemos un poquito más al respecto o, o darnos algún ejemplo de cómo tenemos que armar las oraciones. Les di, les mando el cuadro, ¿verdad? En el cuadro aparecen ocho idioms. Usted tiene white out, to have a lot of one plate. Eh, como por ejemplo, I cannot go to the party. I have a lot on my plate right now. Yo digo, I cannot go to the party. No puedo ir a la fiesta. Coma. I have a lot on my plate right now. Tengo mucho que hacer en este momento. ¿Por qué? Porque to have a lot on one's plate es tener mucho que hacer. Ok. Ok, teacher. Y, y, y es necesario usar lo que usted ha mandado. Tal vez podemos hacer nosotros alguna otra frase que nosotros tengamos en mente. Son idioms. Son idioms right now. Ok. Lo que yo necesito que usemos son okay. los idioms. That's why I have given you 10 minutes. Por él les he dado 10 minutos. Because you need to get into a context. Hay que ponerlos okay. en un contexto. Podemos usar estos mismos que están aquí en el que acaba de compartir. Exactly dos. Exactamente esos. Oh. Divídenselos. Eh, okay. Yvette que haga de uno. Wilfredo hace de otro. Luz hace de uh -huh. otro. The oh. way is going to be easier. Okay. okay. Thank you. If you need any help, okay. let me know. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, you want to get me? Stress it out. Teacher, uh, can I huh? I am so I, I am so stressed out, man. Out everything hurts. <laughs> every day and every <laughs> single day. Okay, yeah. teacher, can I say can, can I say my children get me stressed out? Oh yeah. You can say that. You can totally say that. <laughs> you stand to do that to parents. I mean. <laughs> my wife too. But I yeah, they, yeah uh, but but that's not safe to say it. No, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Yeah, you can say it, my friend. That, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, Carla, what is I, your I verb? Dab. Yeah, tell me, tell me, Magdalena. I have a doubt with a race. When you are um, when you are running in a race, what is the correct for to say that? Uh, we are we are road, road, we are road. Ivania, uh, what what was what we run a race, run, run a race. race. Ivania mm -hmm. ran a race and shoot a great no get, get no. great her out wipe it out wipe Ivania it out. ran a oh. race and she get wiped out and mm -hmm. and she ended up wiped out ended out she ended up no let's see ended out no ended up ended up Terminó, finalizó. And she ended up. Yep, wiped out. Ended up. Okay, is Ivania run a race? Is right? Run, run, because run. it's past. Yeah, Ivania run a race. Okay. And she ended up. When you can use the verb attend. Mm. Attend. Uh -huh, attend. Well, you attend to classes every day, no? Attend. And we are in um in a play in a game of soccer. I can attend a place a game of play, of soccer or no? Yeah, a match, a match. Match. A match. Yes, match. Yeah. yeah. Es un partido. A match. A soccer game. Yeah, un partido game. de fútbol. That's a match. Mm -hmm. okay. Because one team matches his strength against the other team. Se está midiendo. Un, exactly that. Mm -hmm. Much it's okay. We have only four mistress, and when... you are you just got three more minutes. Tenemos menos de un minuto por cada oración, señoras, señoritas. Okay. Mm, for example, he will never settle down. He will never settle down. It's correct, teacher. Okay. Yeah, it is. To settle down or he will never settle down? He will never settle down. Okay. okay. Um, it's only one example. My wife, my wife never, um, never is settled down. No, my wife never settled down when she is at home. She's always busy. <laughs> okay, my wife, my wife. Never, never, never settle down. 
when she is at home. Better when she when she had troubles. No, when when she have bills to pay. Okay, yeah. When she have bills to pay. Okay. We need one more. Who wanna someone? Who have one? Okay, we're gonna give them two more minutes because it's a little bit difficult.
Okay, guys. Where's everybody? Oh, coming back in three, two, one. Okay, remember, please, I need one member from the group to send me the sentences, okay? Because I need to check them. So please do it. Right now, teacher, or, or after class. If, if you want to get them on clean, like uh, more formal, you can do it after class. It's up to you, but I need them today if possible. Please. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Now, conversation time. Because today, actually, we have done different exercises. If you notice, we were reading. Now we have been doing something that we don't usually do, that is creating sentences. But it's important for us to practice that because we need to be, I need to check also your structuring when you're writing. Remember, that's also a basic skill. Por las dudas, explico en español. Es importante que hagamos este ejercicio porque me permite verificar cómo estamos con la habilidad de escritura. Por eso es que lo estamos haciendo. Sé que no solemos hacerlo mucho. Normalmente me enfoco mucho en conversation. But it's also important. Pero también es importante. So please send me the sentences so I can check them. Now. Ok. We're going to continue talking about when we were kids, okay? Simple time. We're talking using simple time. Now, the sentences we are going to do are this. Look, were your parents super protective? At what age could you go places by yourself? Did your parents always tell you what to do? Just three sentences. But you're going to be working in groups of three and four members, okay? So remember, take notes because I'm asking about your classmate, not about yourself, okay? So these are the questions. I got them in the Zoom chat. I will also send them to the WhatsApp group. There you go. And you will have four minutes in order to do this exercise. Just four minutes because we are going to do one more conversation, okay? One more topic.
Okay, we can we can we can say yes. They I how until they sepa separate. Sí, hasta que al menos hasta que se separaron, pues. O sea, hasta entonces sí, no nos no regañamos por todo. Okay. Eh, what you can you you can put yes they were super protective only that yes ¿Cómo, cómo? or not eh, yo ajá que sí que porque solo pongamos que sí que ellos eran eran sobre protectores yes ah, they entonces... were they were super protective ajá only that govern are you agree sí eh, Okay, in the other question is, at what age could you go play by yourself? ¿A qué edad podías ir a los lugares que tú querías? ¿O a qué edad podrías decidir, decidir por vos mismo o por...? No, o sea... Eh... No, yo este, digamos, en, al menos en mi caso, pues cumplimos los 18 y siempre éramos sumisos, no, no éramos liberales. Ok. No, so, no éramos liberales. So, en inglés. Ah. Eh, no. Yes. Teacher, we can write, I never could, couldn't. No. no. I never could. I never could. Never, I yes, never. negativo. Entonces, si usted escribe okay. couldn't, está haciendo una doble negación. You are right, teacher. Entonces, eh, Gabriel puede empezar diciendo, I never I could. Never could. Uh -huh. In the, and then, ¿cómo se dice eso? Por favor? Eh, puede decir, I never.
Достойная глобализация. Okay, okay, we will see, we will see. Ingrid, tell me, Ingrid, were your parents super protective with you? Uh, maybe, teacher. I think the, the, the protected my parent with me. Okay, and at what age could you go places by yourself? Excuse me? At what age could you go places by yourself? Uh, at uh, 16 years old. Okay, well, your parents were not super protective. Uh, mm, yeah, but uh, in different situation, uh, ah, okay. different situation, for example, uh, 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 when I, I need the different thing in the house, for example, uh, go eat at the supermarket or the tiendita. Okay. Uh -huh. This, in esas cosas, this. Okay, okay, I understand you. Store, store. Uh -huh. In the store. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you. Now welcome. let's see. Veronica, hello Veronica. I haven't talked to you tonight. Hello, teacher. Tell me, did your parents mm. always tell you what to do? Mm, no. Mm. Only they let you be independent. Advice. Okay, but only advice. No. Never, never uh, tell, tell me what. Exactly what to do. Okay. okay, okay, perfect. And let's see, Yvette, at what age could you go places by yourself? Hey, your microphone. Sorry, teacher. No problem. At 14. At 14, okay, cool. Yes. Nice. Now, let's see, Rosalina, tell me, were your parents super protective with you? Uh, no, not really. Be normal for me. Okay, and uh, what age could you go play for by yourself? Uh, about 14 years in seventh grade, I remember. Okay, that's nice. Thank <laughs> yes. you. You're welcome, teacher. Carlos Chavez. Hello, teacher. Tell me, did your parents always tell you what to do? No, teacher, uh, because never necessary. It was never necessary. Oh, it was never necessary. Uh, so because you were a good boy at home. My mother is it is like uh, my best friend for me. So there was a good relationship. Yeah. Okay, that's Actually. great. Ah, even now, even now. Even now, okay, teacher. A una hora, even now. Okay, wow, that's great. Excellent. Let's see, let's see. Let me get the volume up because here is 
raining a lot. I need to hear you. Okay, Carla. Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset. Tell me, Carla, at what age could you go places by yourself? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. That's nice. So, tell me, Carla, were your parents super protective with you? Yes. Yes, they were. Can you give me an example? Um, eh, cuando me miraban con amigos de eh, varones, ah, uh. con varones, ahí sí. Mm. Okay. Please don't scare Wilfredo, no me asuste Wilfredo, he's got two girls. Please don't do that. The baby is like, oh man, it's terrible. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, Carla. Okay, guys, now be aware of, well, actually, let's see. Today is the last day for section three, right? I hope you have finished. Pero que han terminado section three. Because today I'm getting the grades into the system. Ahora paso tras notar el sistema. Now, uh, tomorrow we start a new unit and also tomorrow uh, we are going to do uh, we are going to prepare some questions related to job interview mañana vamos a hacer una preguntita relacionada con entrevistas de trabajo en English that's good vocabulary I know you will enjoy it sé que les va a gustar and who knows perhaps it becomes useful to you once Esperemos que un día les sea de utilidad. Ok. So, keep that in mind. Tomorrow it's going to be very, very interesting. So, try to be here on time. That if you are here on time, it helps me because I can have more time for that activity. Ok. Let me get the final attendance, guys. Okay? Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmo. Presente, señor. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Thank you, Edwin. Stephan Elisad Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Presente, señor. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Presente, señor. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Presence. Ivan Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Presence. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present, teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabi. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Verónica Arelía Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosario. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present. Say good night. Thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Uh, teacher, a question. I have yes. to stay here now. No, because we cover it the, the, the last Friday. Just tell me, did okay. you did you do one of the exercises at least? Now the weekend was heavy for you. Yes, I had time yesterday yesterday at night and today in the morning I had a time. It was interesting. The, the one exercise was with uh, one man who 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 wants um, who wants uh, start to play in him in him com him companies his company uh, basketball teams his okay. companies his company's basketball teams. And his wife said, now oh, man, 15 years ago, you can, but right now it's- Oh, that really sounds low. like me. That sounds like me telling that I'm gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what I said. Yeah, so do you think those exercises are gonna work for you? Uh, so I don't get your word. Do you think those exercises are going to work for you? Are going to be good for you? Yes. Okay. Re they are really interesting and really help to me. Okay. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you for the support. It's okay, Excellent. teacher. Uh, well, uh, how do, how yes, do you say? Me. How do you say? No te quito más el tiempo. Okay. I I won't take more of your time. I don't think more of your time. It's just a matter of practice. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you.